Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create a table that has pictures and it lets you sort and the pictures will sort accordingly to uh, the other values. So let's see what that means. So that we have a uh, three row table here, uh, the last three presidents of the United States. Now let's say I wanted to sort it instead of uh, ascending by the 44, 43, excuse me, by descending 44, 43, 42, I want to sort it by ascending. So if I go and click on that little drop down there and click on smallest to largest, where it would have 42, 43, 44, you can see the pictures do adjust. Now the reason why it does that is uh, each picture that is put into uh, that location, in, in this instance, th this particular row and column, um, they're set to move with the changes in the column. So what does that mean? Let me go ahead and click the picture here and go ahead and go under the Format tab here and under the Size group. I'll go ahead and click on the Expand here. This expands it and brings out our format, the format picture. And the reason why it moves is because we have these properties set where it's going to move but doesn't size with the cells. And so basically what that means is if you move the uh, arrangement of the cells, uh, in, th in this case it sorts, it will move accordingly. One of the things that, that does happen is that um, if we do a move the uh, size of this row, let's say that we move the size of the row instead of having it um, at its previous, we, we wanted to move the height maybe a little bit smaller. You can see that the picture did not change. And the reason why is because uh, this value was not set move in size with cells. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo. If I had set that cell, let me go ahead and move this back. If I had set that cell would move in size with cells, this image would basically be smushed. So if I did the same thing again, I just kind of moved it up, you'd see now this picture of Bill Clinton gets smushed. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo that. So the best option if we wanted to keep our size of our pictures. And a good idea is also to keep, if we're doing something like this, we keep the size of the pictures all the same. You can see this one is uh, 2.2 to 1.7. If I click on, let me go ahead and reset this one back to move and don't resize and don't size with cells. If I click on uh, George W. Bush, you can see it's the same size, 2.2, 1.7. And the same here with uh, Barack Obama, 2.2, 1.7. So a good best practice is if you're creating something like this, is to have all the pictures in one uniform size. They're all uniform size here. So let me go ahead and close this. So that's how you can create a picture that kind of moves as you adjust the, um, the columns or, or the rows here. Let me go ahead and close this. Now let's say this is an expanding table. I wanted to add some uh, additional rows here. So let me go ahead and bring up the 41st, pre 41st president, and that would be uh, George H.W. Bush. Let me go ahead and copy this. Control, select that Control C to copy. Bring it back over here. Uh, Control V to paste. And I've just pasted in the text. You can see the row height stays the same. And if I right click on here and go to row height, you can see that the row height is 14.4. And uh, the row height here is pretty uniform. It's going to be 172.8. And the, the same with the, the other ones here. So right click, uh, 172.8, right? So I kind of want to have a uniform row height. And if I bring the picture in here, let me go ahead and bring a picture of George H.W. Bush here. Let me go ahead and select that, Control C to copy. Go back here, Control V to paste. You'll notice that it doesn't really kind of fit into there. So I'm going to have to adjust this. So if I right click that and go uh, under row height and go 172.8 press enter. So you can see after I adjusted the row height, I can probably move this picture of George H.W. Bush back here. And I've got that set. And I got to make sure uh, I'm going to go ahead and go under the format, go under size, make sure that that also has the properties where it says move, but don't size with the cells just in case uh, I move the aspects of the uh, cell size, the, the row height or the column width differently. So what if we basically had to do this many times and we wanted to kind of not have it where uh, each time we added a different name here uh, it would we would have to do these adjustments you know change the row height and make it adjust well there's a way that we can do it we can basically turn this into a table let me go ahead and uh, delete a picture here and delete this let me go ahead and just delete this row select that row right click and uh, go ahead and just click delete so what we can do is we can turn this into a table. Right now, the reason why we have these drop downs is that the uh, filtering is on. So 
if I go ahead and select here, you can see that the filtering has been applied. Now, uh, I can turn that off, and you can see that uh, it's off, and we just have our formatting here. And I can just select and uh, turn this into table. So what I can do is go into Insert, uh, Table, or I can just press Control T. You can see the keyboard shortcut shows up there, Control plus T. So if I press that, it turns into the table. I want to keep my table has headers. I want to keep this first row as headers and it will also enable the drop down arrow. So I'll go ahead and select that. And what happens is it turns uh, th that range of cells from A1 to E4 into a table. And the nice thing about a table is it has some automatic features. So what does that mean? What I can do now is I can go ahead and copy. Let me go ahead and copy the um, information here for George H.W. Bush. Select that, Control C to copy go under back here and right under here if I go under here and I can press control V you'll see that the table here it's going to expand down to row 5 control V to paste and you can see like there's kind of this that that mark down there it moved from E4 now to E5 and so this row is part of the table now I had mentioned before we wanted to go ahead and automatically um, have that row height be uh, 171.8. Um, the reason why it's 171.8 is uh, originally I had created a, a function and had it repeat uh, line breaks. And so it kind of adjusted to the size of these photos. So what we can do here is I need to put in a formula here, a function. I'm going to use the two functions, the repeat function and the character 10 function. So let me go ahead and just write it out here. So what it's going to do is I'm going to use the repeat function, which is R-E-P-T, and I'm going to encapsulate the text. So which text, uh, what the repeat does, uh, the R-E-P-T function is repeats the text a number of times. So I want to repeat this text, and this char function is a character function. So basically it's the ASCII character. It's the, you give it a number, and it, re it gives you back the character. So the character that I want, the number that I want, is the number 10. And what that does is, let me go ahead and just comma that so I can repeat it a number of times. Character 10 is basically a line break. So it's going to repeat this line break X number of times. I'm going to have it repeat 11 times because uh, I've, I've done this where 11 times basically gives me this row height that I want. So based on your picture, you may want it to increase uh, 12 times, 15 times, depending on the size of the picture that you want. And so as I remember, as I said before, we kind of want to have our picture on a uniform size, the same size, so it makes it easy for us to repeat this. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and click on that and press enter. It really doesn't do anything here um, for me because basically, it's the cell that my picture's not in. But if, you, if you've noticed, after I executed that command, if I go to here, uh, it's, that's where I executed the command. In the table feature, it basically repeats functions of formula. So if I go to this next cell here, you'll see that that uh, function or that formula or that formula has been repeated. Down here it's been repeated, and down here it's been repeated. And one of the reasons why that it didn't repeat and also adjust the size here is I need to change um, I need to change something. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this formula, Control C to copy, and go into the cell E2. This is where I want the formula to be because I want it kind of to be behind the picture and execute. So I'm going to go ahead and I, I Control C to copy. I press Escape because I don't want to have be in the edit mode. You see, I'm in the edit mode here. I want to press Escape so I'm in the ready mode. So I want to go ahead and click and cell E2. So I'm in E2 right now. I want to paste that particular function there, Control-V to paste, I press Enter. And if you notice, uh, now I'm in cell E3. That formula has been copied down there. If I press the down arrow to go to cell E4, that formula has been copied in cell E4. I don't need this column anymore. I'm going to delete column F. Uh, right click and press Delete. And the reason why that uh, the particular function now, you, s you think it might not have worked because we see these are already um, that particular row height, but it didn't seem to have worked here. And the reason why it didn't work is we need to have wrap text turned on in this particular column. So I'm going to select the column. You see it's all selected. Now I'm going to, under the Home tab, under the Alignment group, go ahead and click on Wrap Text. And what that does is it basically, uh, in, a, in essence, kind of wrapped uh, that function. So that those bunch those bunches of uh, line breaks They've, they're, they're wrapped in that cell. So now I've kind of got it set where now I can just copy 
uh, picture of, of Bush, Control C to copy, and put it in here, and Control V to paste, and I'll just kind of align it here. Now, when I do the next thing now, if I copy over uh, the next president, let me go ahead and copy over the next president here, which is go, good old Ronald Reagan. Let me go and select this, Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste here. Let me see the the form the copy down, and it looks like the um, it didn't really size it, but this is a toggle. Oh, it looks like I didn't have the wrap text turned on here. Let me go here and see if wrap text was turned on for this particular cell. You can see it's turned on for this cell, but it was not turned on for that cell. Let me go ahead and click on wrap text, and you now just notice that the size has uh, adjusted, and so I can go ahead and bring uh, the picture of Ronald Reagan. Control C to copy. Bring it in here, Control V to paste. I'm gonna go ahead and set that over here, right? And so if you have uh, if if you have it where the re the repeat text, uh, this particular formula did not uh, adjust the size, you can probably just go ahead and uh, after you've, you've done all the um, before you put the picture pictures in and you've added all the 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 information in the rows, you can probably just select the column and just toggle that and uh, make sure wrap text is turned on. Let me see, it's turned on here and all the column, the row height should adjust accordingly. Now we can see that it's kind of out of sync, the presidency list, 42, 43, 44, and now we're at 41. Let's go ahead and set that uh, to maybe uh, ascending order, smallest to largest. So now we have it set where Reagan's first, 41, 42 is Bush, 43, 42 is, uh, 41 is Bush, 42 is uh, Clinton, 43 is the other Bush, and 44 is uh, Obama. So we can see that it has actually uh, adjusted the p the sorting based on what we sorted. If I go to largest, smallest, it should reverse that. And that's how we can create a sorted list with the pictures that move accordingly to when to what we sort. And so uh, this is kind of nice if you want to kind of put some visual aspects to uh, data within your table. Um, it kind of gives you a little bit more uh, of a visual appeal. So this is how you would do it if you wanted to have a table where you can sort and the pictures move accordingly with your sort. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.